Um, good morning, everybody. I don't know. My phone told me that this stream was not working, and now it looks like it's working, uh, but not completely. We're having more technical issues. This never ends, does it? I see people chatting and talking about what's on the screen, though, so okay, good. Thanks, cookie cat lover. Uh, I guess it is going. So, good morning. It's Monday. It's uh, Monday the something. I don't know. It's Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday. What else do you need to know? Here we are. We're in the uh, the living room. There's kittens playing. We've got a tissue pit going. And, uh, yeah, I'm having my first coffee. There we go. I brought the tissue pit up. Uh, we, we brought it out last night and filled it up for them, and they had a little bit of fun with it. Uh, maybe it was more like yesterday afternoon. Maybe it was more like yesterday morning. You know, I don't know. It's Monday. Don't ask uh, me to know things this early. Um, but anyway, they were exposed to it yesterday and now again this morning, and I think they're starting to really have some fun with it. Also, this is little Splotch right there, who I told you wasn't feeling so well. Uh, she's clearly feeling pretty well. She's the one on the bottom with the yellow collar or uh, butter splotch colored, as I think we decided during mailbag over the weekend. Um, now, she is still, she's still got the little bit of the breathing issues going on. You know, her symptoms have not fully resolved, but she's packing on weight um, since we've taken special care to make sure she's getting all the food she needs. Uh, in fact, her, her weight this morning was crazy. I think she needs to go poop. <laughs> so, uh, so it's good though. It's real good. Very happy about her progress, and then everybody else, as we know, already pretty healthy. And that's the only that's the only news really is that everybody seems like they're doing as well as could be. Oh, uh, and for those of you that uh, don't get a chance to watch Mailbag and, uh, you know, don't want to wait uh, weeks for me to upload an archive <laughs> to give you the, the answers, uh, I heard from Dawes over the weekend, and Dawes was telling me that they have now, they, they believe they have adopters. Again, you know, nothing certain until it's done. Uh, they believe they have adopters for everyone except Tommy and Caper. Oh, 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 Tommy, Tommy, time for a Tom out, buddy. So uh, everybody except for Tommy and Caper. Um, so uh, if you wanted to apply for Tommy or Caper or add uh, Tommy or Caper to your application, uh, do it on the Kitten Academy website. I won't, I won't belabor the point, but I just wanted to make that little uh, clarification that it's, uh, it's Tommy, as far as we know right now, it's Tommy and Caper that we're still waiting for their adopters. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it, DJ wants to adopt a lot of kittens. Pretty much every kitten that comes in, like Tommy did, um, you know, like uh, Kazoo or uh, who else am I thinking? Um, uh, Pebble. Uh, oh, uh, um, and then we had the, the uh, late uh, Millet that was, uh, you know, stayed here longer than anybody else. And whenever we get something like that, DJ's always like, oh, I need to adopt them, but she can't. She knows that, too. It's just talk, so I definitely don't let that stop anybody from applying to adopt Tommy because he really does need a good home. Um, and DJ, though, uh, DJ is concerned, though, that she, he needs to go to, you know, just the best place so that she doesn't have to worry about him. So keep that in mind. <laughs> uh, I know Dawes, all the applica applicants are just great. All the, all the approved adopters are fantastic. And don't take it the other way either. If, if you applied for one of these kittens and you don't get approved and someone else does, don't, don't think that that is a rejection from Dawes. In fact, very often it's not. Um, I don't know how they communicate, but I, I know most people realize that, that you know, there's just too many applicants for most kittens, and uh, Dawes uh, then sort of puts them on a list of pre-approved people that, uh, that, you know, that's why so many of the kittens disappear before we even open the applications. So uh, just because it, it, you're not the one that, that it works out for, if that's the case, uh, doesn't, doesn't mean that they didn't think you were a good fit. 
just that there may have been either a better fit for a person or I, know, I think they give priority to people that want to adopt in like groups and pairs too and sometimes they have to shuffle things around to accommodate that. So those are things to keep in mind. It doesn't, doesn't mean that you weren't good enough for Tommy. Of course, uh, by DJ's approximation, probably nobody's good enough for Tommy. Anyway, uh, anyway, my point being that we, we definitely need people to apply for Tommy, and if you're holding off for, uh, for DJ's benefit, don't, um, definitely don't, because uh, Tommy will not be staying with us. This is Sham, hi little Sham. And that's Doodle, you can tell Doodle uh, by his great big thumbs. And he uses them on things, like you can see he's using them to get a little bit of an extra grip here. Well, I say that and now he's not, he's not doing it quite the same, but still. Yeah, like an iguana, or I think like a like a chameleon. Yeah, like a like a uh, which are the chameleons? The Parsons chameleons, the ones that are so slow and have those big, uh, you know, like the the two long fingers. It does make me think of that a little bit, especially when he's walking on something slow like this, like a like a chameleon on a branch. He just came over to see me. Sham settled down in my lap already. Well, kind of settled down. Um, Mural and Rue are still wearing suits, although Mural's is unsnapped almost all the time, so I don't know how much good it's really doing. But I'd sure like to see them sort of stop producing milk entirely before we take the suits off. That way they can nurse all they want and nothing will come of it. So we're going to try to give it a little bit longer. Um, also on the vet's advice, she thought that, that it, you know, as long as we can keep the suit on Mural, those extra calories can go to helping her fight off whatever she's got going on, which is still going on a little bit um, according to the, the blood work, but, uh, you know, seeing her in person would never know. Uh, Rue has been really fun and playful, especially when she has her suit off. But uh, she's also started to... to want Maggie out of her territory. So if Maggie comes all the way back here into this area, uh, it usually results in Rue sort of chasing her off, which is unfortunate, but you know, these things happen and uh, it's not really important for Rue and Maggie to be friends in the long term. So we don't have to worry about trying to fix up that particular relationship. And as you know, Maggie's kind of got a habit of pushing the buttons of mom cats, so. Oh, uh, speaking of Tommy and how well he has been doing, uh, one of my favorite things that I've noticed lately is that he plays on the S-shaped S with Rue. He'll, he'll play with Rue's tail and she'll play back and it's clearly playing from both of them. And that is the sweetest thing that Tommy has an adult cat that he can be good play buddies with. And that's uh, so far is Rue mostly. I think that's so sweet to see that happening. And also how respectful he is these days. I think she's helped teach him quite a bit of being respectful that way where um, she doesn't, she won't hesitate to put the smack down on Tommy if he's being too aggressive. So she's really set good limits with him and uh, it, it's working out super well. 
Plus, Tommy's been really good for us, too. In fact, uh, he bites less than, you know, the average kitten would as they're figuring things out. Wow, somebody's making a lot of noise in that litter box back there. Uh, so, so Tommy, I think, as a whole, you know, like if you just brought Tommy and all these kittens to me, I would think Tommy, I, I might think Tommy was one of the, the more uh, better behaved ones, really. Um, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm far more likely to take a bite from uh, um, Hustle, who is food crazy. Hustle would never bite a person on purpose, of course, intending to bite a person. That would, I just can't even imagine it. But Hustle gets completely insane when the treats come out, and he'll swipe and, and smack and bite anybody to get to the treats, uh, which, like I said before, is something we've been trying to train him off of. But it just goes to illustrate um, that... You know, at first we thought Tommy was going to be the one that needed all the extra attention and care. And in fact, he came around real fast for us. Hi, Mural. Are you going to come in here, Mural? Mural Mill? Aw, mom's hanging out together on their little thing, the bench thing, whatever you call it. Well, Debbie, I didn't really plan for baby food during this close-up, but I'll see if I can remember to do that on Wednesday's close-up. Squiggle. This is Squiggle, as you know. She's a very large <laughs> tortie. <clears throat> I might have to retire this tunnel soon. It popped a, 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 its underwire, I guess. Sometimes you can get them, like this one's nicely finished. Uh, here we go, right here you can see. This one's got a nice end on it, so I may be able to, to sort of put it back in and tape it down or, or somehow repair it temporarily. But we've got a lot of spare tunnels too, so it's not, you know, we don't have to go pull out all the stops to try to save it either. But I hate to see somebody get poked with that thing sticking out there. So much crinkling going on. Oh, this is still happening over here. That's, they're making a lot of noise. Oh, there's a third kitten. I almost didn't see you. Here, let's, uh, let's stir this up just a little bit here. Oh, that's fun. You want to see what it would be like to be in there? Here, let's put the camera down in there. I can't fit, but you guys can. Come in. Well, I tried. Oh, hi.
there a Tommy in here? Somebody's under here, I think. Ooh. Aha, uh -huh. I see this with Tommy right there. Hidden Tommy. They don't even know the danger they're playing so near. So this is Hijinx and Doodle. Oh, hi, Doodle. Sorry, bud. Hi, Doodle. Okay. And Squiggle again. And Sham has been sleeping here in my lap the whole time. She did finally settle down, so I can't get up. There's Etch versus Caper. Uh, that is Scrawl right in front of us. Mama Roo. Uh, this is Gambit. Tommy stuck his head out. Hi, bud. We can see you now. <laughs> oh, oh. Nice try, buddy. Didn't work, though, did it? Jump in there and get him. Dive in. Go for it, Gambit. Make a big jump. I think he's, oh, he was winding up for it, but then he didn't do it. Um, Cindy M, uh, GoPros are a little big for cats to carry around, even a big cat like Custard, but we had an even smaller little camera that we used once to put on cats. I think you can still find the video of it, but the best video of it is uh, with Acro. Uh, I think if you just search on YouTube for Acro Cam, A-C-R-O-C-A-M, uh, I'd be amazed if it pulled up any video except for the one of him wearing the camera at the old house in Illinois. It's a, something I've been meaning to do again. I think we could do it real easy with one of the Sudacal suits, put a real nice camera like in and on the suit. Um, but uh, I've never gotten around to doing that. I got, I got a lot of um, projects that I'm working, I'm actually working on some really really fun kitten related uh projects right now kitten academy related technical projects right now uh, and i'm real excited about them but the initial stages the stuff i'm working on first is not stuff that's going to be very visible to you guys it's more about automating the things that we we manage every day the regular stream which cameras are on it and that kind of thing uh, I've got some, uh, making good progress on it. But eventually, I'd like to even turn that into, uh, you know, things like, um, you know, letting people on Discord control the cameras when I'm not, you know, paying attention, when I'm distracted, instead of people having to ping me and say, hey, can you switch on this camera because all the kittens are over there? They can just do it themselves. Uh, that's, that's where I'd like to get with that. So, and uh, good progress, too, by the way. We're, we're you know, like 50% uh, of the way there already. So, not bad. There's also other very exciting little technical things that I want to get working on, but it's, uh, it's so slow going. I don't want everybody to get all excited and uh, then have to wait forever. So, we'll get there. Anyway, uh, uh, one of the tech problems that I'm having right here with the, uh, this stream that we're doing is that I can't tell how long we've been going because my clock uh, is stopped. So I'm going to wrap it up. I, I need to get up and take care of things anyway. Sorry, Sham. I'm sorry, Sham. You're going to have to get up. I know you can't just sleep here in my lap, but you're a sweetie beans. Anyway, uh, wow, I see everybody saying hi to Eddie, but I didn't see where he was. He must have, he must have come through or by or uh, I swept past him or something. I didn't even notice. Uh, all right, Shammy, let's go. There we go. Here, okay, I'm not going to put you in the tissue pit because you're napping, so you find someplace else to nap, all right? Gimmick, gimmick's like, all right, the spot's free. I'm going to come over there and nap now. No, you're not, Gimme. No, no, you're not. 
So that's Gimmick and Sham. There's our buddy Hustle. Ooh, somebody farted. Oh man, one of these kittens. Oh, probably in the tissue pit. Oh no. And it gets all stuck in there and every time you run around, it releases more of the gas. Oh, the worst. Okay, well, anyway. Here is our little baby, Rue, wearing her adorable little suit. Um, over the weekend, Joy sent in uh, a new set of suits that are perfectly sized for Rue. I, I wish I could get this kind of suit onto um, Mural because it seems like it, it works better as far as keeping the kittens off uh, and not, not getting, uh, you know, opened up the way that Murals so often is. So uh, I'm probably gonna order one of those in a slightly bigger size. Because uh, uh, even though they're the same weight, uh, when they when we when I weighed yesterday, Mural and Rue posted the same like eight pound weight. Very impressive, by the way. Eight pounds is up for both of them, so they're doing very well. Um, but even so, uh, Mural's still the bigger cat. Uh, in fact, eight pounds is probably overweight, safely overweight for Rue, but it's underweight for Mural. So we are going to look at. Uh, I'm gonna look at trying to get one of those other kinds of suits for her so that uh, she can stop nursing the kids a little better, maybe. That should work out. Uh, let's see, this is Caper, and Hijinks, and Etch, and uh, Squiggle. Wow, I got all four of those names without really missing a beat. That was impressive. I'm impressed with myself. Uh, you saw everybody over there. I think that's everything and everybody, so. I see Doodles come in here to try to get, scam some food from Ari. Hi, bud, Doodle. Little Doodle Beans. Here's our buddy Ari. Oh, we haven't seen Trace. I see people asking for Trace. Well, um, I haven't seen a Trace of her, so <laughs> maybe we can... Take a quick look though. I know I would like to see where Trace is too, if that's the one that we're missing. She might be upstairs though. Uh, I guess we could walk up there. There's nothing to stop us from just finishing. Wait, I saw a red collar. Oh, but it's hijinks, not Trace. Hijinks red, not Trace red. There she is. Hi Trace, where were you? I see you right here now, hi. There's our little Trace face. Well, uh, as usual, if you would like to keep watching these kittens play, we got a camera right here pointed right there at the tissue pit. And we got this other camera over here pointed at the whole room. And if we need to, we've even got more than that. So uh, for now, it's up to me to keep those cameras pointed at the kittens and I'll do my best. Tune into the Kitten Academy live stream if you wanna see them there. And uh, maybe soon we can uh, sort of crowdsource the, uh, the keeping the stream kittened. We'll see. Thanks so much, everybody. Uh, I hope you have a great Monday, and I hope you have a wonderful week. And I will see all of you for another close-up, theoretically anyway, on Wednesday. And then again on Friday, and then mailbag on Saturday. And I think that's pretty much everything forever. This tends to be Muriel's spot. She's, uh, she's discovered if she gets on top of this tree, it's very hard for any of the kittens to find her. She can just sit there all she wants. All right, well, thanks again, everybody. Say goodbye, Tommy. What? Say goodbye, Tommy. <laughs>